hello learners here n plus 1 p5 is to n p6 is 2 is to 7 okay then we have to find out n now see see carefully how we are going to do what is npr what is npr npr is nothing but npr is nothing but n factorial by n minus r factorial npr n factorial by n minus r factorial so here what are we given n plus 1 p5 so n plus 1 p5 in place of n put n plus 1 in place of r put 5 so n plus 1 p5 is nothing but n plus 1 factorial by n plus 1 minus 5 whole factorial which will be nothing but n plus 1 factorial by n minus 4 factorial see in this in place of n just put n plus 1 n plus 1 factorial by n plus 1 minus r is 5 n plus 1 minus 5 which is n minus 4 factorial hope this is clear and np6 is easy np6 is n factorial by n minus 6 factorial now next they gave us that n plus 1 p5 is to np6 is 2 is to 7 that means what n plus 1 p5 by n plus np6 is 2 by 7 ratio okay each two means that's what it denotes now next next n plus 1 p5 by np6 i can write it as n plus 1 p5 into 1 by np6 see n plus 1 p5 i already know this is it right now, 1 by np6 is nothing but reciprocal of this, reciprocal of this, ulta, n minus 6 factorial by n factorial. Now, if I substitute, this is what I do. Now, see, listen carefully. Here I have n plus 1 factorial, here I have n factorial. n plus 1 factorial, I can write it as n plus 1 into n factorial, okay? Why? There is a property which states that n factorial is nothing but n into n minus 1 factorial. To give you an example, 4 factorial is nothing but 4 into 3 factorial 4 into 3 factorial so the one term less than that will get a factorial so n plus 1 factorial is nothing but n plus 1 into n plus 1 minus 1 factorial which is n factorial so this will be n plus 1 into n factorial likewise here i have n minus 6 factorial so n minus 4 factorial can be written as n minus 4 into n minus 5 factorial again n minus 5 factorial can be written as n minus 5 into n minus 6 factorial why i am writing till n minus 6 factorial is because here I have n minus 6 factorial. To get it cancelled, I need n minus 6 factorial here also. So, for that reason, I am going to write this as n minus 4 into n minus 5 into n minus 6 factorial. So, now n minus 6 factorial, n minus 6 factorial cancel, n factorial, n factorial cancel. What will remain is n plus 1 will remain n minus 4 into n minus 5 equal to 2 by 7. You see, all the factorials are gone. Now, just simplify whatever is there. Cross multiply 7 into this, 2 into this. 7 into n plus 1, 7 into n plus 1 is 2 into n minus 4 into n minus 5. So, 7 n plus 7 is nothing but 2 into n square minus 9 n plus 20. In case if you do not get its multiplication, see. This I can write it like n into second bracket minus 4 into second bracket. So, n into n minus 5 minus 4 into n minus 5. So, n square minus 5 n minus 4n plus 20 okay n into n n square n n minus n into n into 5 is minus 5n and minus 4 into n is i mean n into minus 5 is minus 5n minus 4 into n is minus 4n minus 4 into minus 5 is plus 20 so n square minus 5n minus 4n is minus 9n so that's why i get n square minus 9n plus 20 now next just multiply 2n square minus 18n plus 40 but 2 got multiplied now get everything to the rhs Z or I just reverse it. I just reversed it. Okay. You could get everything to RHS. Just reverse it. I wrote uh, RHS as LHS and LHS as RHS. Now get everything to LHS. Minus 18 and minus 7 n is minus 25 n. 40 minus 7 is 33. Now to factorize this 2 into 33 is 66. 2 into 33 is 66. And 66 is nothing but 22 into 3. 66 is nothing but 22 into 3. So, minus 25 n can be written as minus 22 n minus 3 n. Okay. Now, take 2 n common here. 2 n into n minus 11. Minus 3 you can take common minus 3 into n minus 11. You can just take minus 3 into n is minus 3 n. Minus 3 into minus 11 is plus 33. Here also 2 n, 2 n into n is 2 n square. 2 n into minus 9 is minus 22 n. Now, take n minus 11 common n minus 11 into 2 n minus 3. There are two cases. Case 1 is this equal to 0, n minus 11 equal to 0. When n minus 11 equal to 0, n will be 11. And case 2 is this 2 n minus 3 equal to 0. 
that means 2n is 3 and n will be 3 by 2 n will be 3 by 2 can n be 3 by 2 no right not possible n cannot be a fraction so n is n equal to 11 or 3 by 2 since n, not, n cannot be a fraction so n is 11 that's it thank you